Hello, welcome to Bent's. We're going to be looking at deadheading today. And, and deadheading really serves one purpose, um, possibly two. It obviously makes the plant look tidier, but more importantly, it stops the energy of the plant going into seed production when you don't need it to. And the thinking behind that is that because the plant is saving energy on seed production, it's putting more energy into producing flowers for the following year. So we've got a classic example of a wonderful spring flowering evergreen, the rhododendron family. And for the larger flowered rhododendrons, it is worth deadheading them. It's very simple. Once the flowers start to go over, you just go to the base of the flower truss here. You can see next year's potential shoots which will then produce flower buds as the season goes on. Obviously you don't want to damage those. So you just snap off the old flower. And it should come away quite cleanly. There's not usually a problem snapping them off. If you do knock the bud off by mistake, you know, because they are starting to become quite advanced, it's not the end of the world. There'll either be another one there to take over the duties, or the plant will produce a dormant bud lower down which will then become live because you've taken some of the terminal buds out and you just go over the whole plant just take off any of these manky old flowers that's a technical term manky and I'm taking the flowers off the leaves because sometimes if you leave them on and they start decomposing on the leaf you end up with nasty brown marks on your leaves just makes for a tidy looking plant. This is a new variety, this one called Scintillation. Um, very good. It's been out for a while already, but there, that looks much better, much tidier, and it means a good crop of flowers next year.